Hey, what's up everyone? It's Leo here again, and as you guys might have noticed, I'm not an English speaker. I'm from Brazil, but I'll try my best though to make another video on Rainbow Six Siege. I bet a lot of people ask themselves, deployable shield or barbed wire, which one should I pick? Well, I would say you can go for one over the other. It depends on your team strategy and how you will play. For example, if you're going to stay inside the objective, I would recommend the deployable shield. Its main use for protection, of course, it's obvious, but you gotta be smart to deploy it. Look for places that your back is safe by an unbreakable surface. Another good tip is put it near a wall. Create a narrow space for you to aim. On the attacker perspective, it will be hard to find you there. Or you can use the hostage as a shield of your shield. If the attacker fails, you will win the round. But I also like to deploy the shield at doorways. You can add a frost trap on it or a bandit shock device. It will for sure slow down the enemies because they will be skeptical about to jump it and you can take advantage of it. You also can wait for them to jump. They won't have time to react. In some maps, you can also use deployable shield in unexpected areas, like on this staircase. You can get some cover and surprise the enemies. I just love the deployable shield, but it doesn't mean that I wouldn't go for the barbed wire. It's also incredible, especially if you are a roamer and want to stay outside the objective. My first tip is deploy it always outside the door. It helps your teammates that are inside. They can see much better the enemy's feet and kill them when they get close. Barbed wire is used mainly to slow down the enemies and it really works, especially if you already have some pre-fire spots. To watch a hallway, for instance, it's amazing. And not only due to the enemy speed reduction, the barbed wire noise makes the whole difference. When you hear it, you know exactly where the enemy is. It's too loud, no one can avoid it, so you can create traps with the barbed wire. Deploy it here, for example, and when you hear the noise, boom! Destroy the wall and kill them all. This static is very useful because you know where it was deployed. So you gotta think in all possibilities before you pick one of these two and deploy it on a wise way instead of just do it randomly. That's it for today's video guys, I hope I have helped you all and if I did please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. There is much more coming up. Have a good one and bye amigos.